I'm the Director of Housing Development at Housing Assistance Corporation. And we're here today with Michael Pierce, uh, who is an attorney specializing in uh, landlord tenant issues. And so we're here today to talk about sort of being a landlord in general. Um, and then we're going to, we also want to talk about in the, in the crazy world that we live in right now, um, some issues in, uh, in landlord and tenant, tenant issues that are happening related to the COVID-19 crisis. So um, first I'll just kind of introduce what Housing Assistance Corporation does in general, and then we'll kind of dive, in, dive into the, the topic of the day. So uh, my job at Housing Assistance Corporation is to try to build more housing, to add more housing inventory. So that means building new housing, uh, you know, new housing that we actually, you know, start from scratch and, and get, get built um, uh, on the Cape, but also working with landlords and trying to uh, create a base of landlords of all different sizes, you know, landlords who have one or two units uh, and also landlords who are building larger complexes to try to create more year round housing. We, we all know the Cape is a seasonal vacation destination, um, but we're trying to encourage more and more um, homeowners and, and, and landlords to consider doing it year round as opposed to just week to week. So that's kind of what we're gonna, we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna talk about um, issues from both the tenant side of the tenant's point of view and then the landlord point of view. Because uh, you know, at, at Hack, we kind of address both of, both of those things. We have programs available for tenants and we also have programs and educational resources available for landlords, which is, you know, that's part of what we're doing today to try to, today's gonna be focusing more on landlords. So uh, that's sort of my preamble. Um, Michael, uh, uh, thank you so much for being here today. I'm wondering if you could just start with a quick introduction about uh, yourself and your practice and kind of what your specialty is. Yeah, sure. Thanks, David. I really appreciate you putting this together and giving me the opportunity to chat with you and others and just kind of be a part of uh, the good work that Hack does throughout Barnstable County and Cape Cod. Uh, I've had the pleasure of working with Hack and assisting them on landlord issues for the last couple of years. Uh, I'm, I myself have a litigation practice on Cape Cod. Uh, in Hyannis. I've operated my own practice since 2013, and I do a, lot, a broad scope of, uh, of legal services in the civil litigation realm, ranging from a lot of landlord-tenant law. I represent a number of property managers throughout Cape Cod uh, with issues that come up from time to time, mostly related to eviction work, and I also do uh, a fair amount of commercial litigation, 93A claims, construction issues, contract claims, uh, but obviously today, the topic on uh, on everyone's mind, especially in the in the landlord tenant world, is uh, you know what's going on right now in the courts. What's going on right now with the uh, current law in place? That's the House Bill number forty six forty seven, and it's the eviction moratorium or freeze law that's currently uh, in place, and it's really a uh, hamstrung landlords uh, and tenants. Uh, until the, the law expires sometime in, in August. I know we'll, we'll talk more than that, but I'm um, happy to be a part of it today, David. Thanks. Yeah, great. Yeah, so def definitely want to dive into the issues with COVID and the moratorium. Um, I'll just start by kind of plugging a couple of things that I'm, I'm going to come back to before we dive into the COVID. Um, so just so people know, if they're only going to watch the first five minutes of this, that Hack has a lot of resources for both landlords and tenants. So if there's nothing, if the only thing you get out of this is is to give us a call if you have questions, I, I want that to be the takeaway. Um, so for landlords, we have a program called Rent 365, and it actually offers some financial incentives for landlords to become year-round landlords. Uh, it also provides resources, documents, and sort of guidance in, in terms of the, the best practices to follow. And then on the tenant side, uh, we provide a lot of uh, resources in terms of housing search, uh, vouchers, uh, and then also financial resources for tenants who, who get into trouble. And so these are all things that we offer in the best of times when there's no pandemic happening. Um, and we actually, you know, a couple months ago when this first started, our immediate concern was how is this going to impact both tenants and landlords? We saw that there was the potential for tenants to get into real trouble quickly because renting on the Cape is so expensive to begin with. And so there's really not a lot of uh, ability for people to, um, to deal with uh, unemployment. Um, you know, pe people really don't have a ton of savings built up with the high rental prices. And so obviously our, our main concern is with tenants, but as you, as you just mentioned, that trickles directly to, to landlords because if tenants aren't able to pay rent, um, many landlords on the Cape are, are, you know, only have a couple of units um, and really depend on that that uh, the, the rental payment to survive and to pay their mortgage. So 
Um, we, at Hack, we're definitely seeing a big increase in the number of requests that we're getting for financial assistance over the last couple of months. And we've created a program called the Workforce Housing um, Relief Fund to address that.